And, and the one important point that I, I'm, I just want to add there is that when we come to fixing these errors, it's so important that a student explains why we are fixing it. So it shouldn't be A, it should be B. Why does it need to be B? I think it's just such a, students know that, but they often don't provide the reasoning. So in an accounting type of question, that's where you're going to be applying these IFRS principles. And I'm sure it would be the same in auditing. You not, it's just, it's not my rule that says you shouldn't do this, you should do that. What is the basis for you say it should be that? Yeah. And I think I think that's probably you know, to some extent, you know, lecturers and, and we kind of assume that that's obvious because when when I'm asking you to discuss, that's what I'm saying. Like talk to me about mm. it. Talk to me about it. And as you're talking to me, you know. There are things you're going to have to include in that discussion, which is like, okay, Yvonne, this is wrong. This is how it's wrong. This is what it should be. This is why it should be. So it's like a yes. comparison. You know, you've yeah. got to compare it. This is what's wrong. This is what you did. And again, like I keep coming back to your client has come into your office and said, here's my stuff. You know, and then you're going to look at it and go, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. actually, there's, this is wrong. What's your client going to go? Why? My yeah. bookkeeper said it was right. My bookkeeper's happy with it. Like, what's, you know, my accountant's happy with it. You're going to have to say, okay, let me explain this to you. So the law says you're supposed to do that. And what you've done is this. So in order to fix it, you're going to have to do that. You can't, you're not just going to go to your client like, oh, that, that number's wrong, five. And I mean, whether it's tax, you've got the Income Tax Act or the VAT or HZ or whatever it is in accounting, you've got IFRS. From an auditing perspective, you've got your standards, you've got your corporate governance, you've got King. There's always something that we are aligning towards or providing yeah. an opinion from. Yeah. Which well, is I going think to be if, if there's any, if I'm asking you to discuss an error or discuss how something should work, you know, like, I mean, you know, one of the weird, one of the horrible things that students struggle with is control weakness questions in order to. <laughs> yep. The moment I say to you, discuss how something should look, that by default means that there's some type of ideal system. You know, if, if I say there's a weakness in controls, by default, that means that there's a, there is a strong control and I'm looking for a comparison. And this is where, you know, for me, this comes back to our discussion about knowledge base is like your knowledge base could be law, it could be IFRS, it could be ISAs, it could be corporate governance, it could be, um, you know, the, the theoretical or the guidelines or the best practices that you've learned about management accounting or costing or valuation processes or whatever the case is. But your knowledge base provides almost like the ideal circumstances. Yeah. And now we compare that to what our clients done. But your client doesn't have all this knowledge base. That's where you are. So your job would be to say, okay, this is what you've done. Let me pull out what the tax law says about this or what, you know, what the best practice is about this and how people how this is generally done in business. And then let me compare these two and, you know, and discuss it with you. And this is why this doesn't work. And I have exactly the same problem in, in, in auditing because the biggest thing students leave out is why. Even with your risks, you probably see that, right? Always. It's everything. Yeah. Like no matter what they're doing in auditing, okay. they leave the why out. We leave the why out of the risk. We leave the why out of the control weakness question. We leave the why mm. out of the control yeah. recommendation. We leave the why out of the audit procedures. We leave the why... <laughs> out of the evaluation of misstatements and we I'm not the why. only one that's sensitive about this good <laughs> I'm like I think my students by now are so sick of hearing like the why you've got like no why equals no marks you've got to tell me yeah. why because that's the yeah. only indication that I have that you get the impact of what's going on here yeah like what is the impact oh that's right management didn't sign it so who cares I don't care. Yeah. Do you care? Okay. Why? Why do you care? What's the problem? So I, I, I think this is important. And, and, you know, like the communication stuff is where a lot of the problems come in. 